if a picture is worth a thousand words, then the two pictures we are going to show you today juxtapose against each other in our CAA show, they might be worth more than a million words. The two pictures tell you the difference between intent and hypocrisy, between reality and fiction, between a waster and a doer. The two pictures are also self-explanatory. Both pictures tell you a story. They were probably filmed practically on the same day in different parts of the world. One picture shows you a man working long hours doing his utmost to make the Indian diaspora proud of their motherland and the achievements of the country and advancing the cause of India with its European partners. The other picture shows the other man, a prominent opposition leader, parting with a person who some say is the Chinese envoy to Nepal in a nightclub which looks distinctly seedy with the lurid, psychedelic colours of the nightclub saturating this opposition leader. Behind the tall talk and the fierce, almost paranoid criticism of the government emerges the real face of the man living the good life in a seedy-looking nightclub. But that is not the shocking part of the story. The real shocker is that this opposition leader probably knew he was being filmed and yet he did nothing to stop it or hide it from being broadcast to the whole world. He is almost brazen about the fact that this picture will be broadcast all around the world. So, that being the case, what does it mean? It simply means that the culture of entitlement has gone so deep in this man that he no longer cares to hide this picture being broadcast. It tells you that this man feels absolutely confident that his own party will never question him or pull him up that what on earth was he doing in a nightclub in Kathmandu at a time when the country is riven with communal tension and the Congress ruled state of Rajasthan is experiencing the worst possible communal writing. It also tells you that this person is almost showcasing the state of opposition resolve or rather the lack of it in the country to take on the government and the priorities of the opposition at a time when the country is awash with communal hate. It sadly also tells you that all people like this opposition leader, what they do in their private space after delivering thunderous speeches and carpet bombing social media with vicious Twitter feeds against the Prime Minister and his government. This episode is a comment, an observation of what we have seen in two pictures. So I will keep it short today and not stretch the point. But needless to say, the man who launched a thousand tweets on the size of the Prime Minister's so-called 56-inch chest would do well in life if he were to borrow even five inches of the moral integrity of the Prime Minister so evident at home and even when he goes abroad. Then maybe we might not have to witness this sorry state of affairs of how two men conduct themselves in two totally different ways when they go abroad. This is Jackie Basin signing off this episode of the CAA show. If you like a show, do subscribe to us. Subscription is of course completely free and you can become a subscriber by pressing the big red subscription button on your screen. And that's all for today. And on this note, it's goodbye and cheers from my end.